welcome back to another shipping and sales vlog. If you're new here, this is a channel all about reselling online. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Macari and Poshmark now. And in these videos, I basically pull the items that have sold in the last couple of days and I take them upstairs to ship them. But I talk to you guys about them as I grab them. I'll let you know where I pick them up and I'll let you know what they sold for. And you just kind of come along for the journey really with me. So if that sounds interesting and you're interested in kind of like thrifting and reselling and stuff, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can come back and hang out some more. I'll let you know that today is a big shipping day for me. Um, I did not ship out on Friday night. I just decided to take a break really. And I have a total of 34 sales. <laughs> so I have my work cut out for me. Very quickly though, before I start grabbing items, I'm gonna let you know that this video is very proudly sponsored by Vendu. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I've been working with Vendu recently. They are a cross-listing software. So basically, if you're selling somewhere like eBay, but you want to give some other marketplaces or platforms a try, Vendu is a great way to go about that. You can set up a listing right there on Vendu and then you can make that live on up to eight different marketplaces as of now. Bearing in mind they are always adding new marketplaces or you can import a listing that you already have and you can simply cross post it over to a brand new platform to get new eyes and more exposure on that item. I've been using them for a while now and I absolutely love them. That is my 100% true opinion of Vendu um, and what I'll do in this video is I'll let you know what items have sold due to me cross posting them using the Vendu software so you can see what has moved for me simply because I have posted it on more than one marketplace. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about Vendu, I will go ahead and pop my like full review video here. You are very welcome to go and check out. It is sponsored, but it is all my own opinion. And I will go ahead and pop a link down below as well, which is an affiliate link, but it does give you 25% off your first month in case you want to give that product a try. We better go grab some items because there is a lot to grab today. Okay, so the very first item that I am grabbing today, I'm gonna to start with eBay, which had 17 sales. Um, I'm gonna start with one of these that sold. So this is a magic band. This is what you wear at Walt Disney World to access your room and to use fast passes and all kinds of different stuff. So this is a limited edition one. As you can see, it is frozen too. Can't remember exactly what it was limited to, just a couple of thousand, I think. I grabbed these when they first came out and obviously they sold out fairly quickly. Um, I did actually buy them for my boys who now, no longer care about Frozen 2 so they are completely unused and unlinked um, and so I decided to sell them and I was quite pleasantly surprised actually to see that on the resale market they have gone up a lot. I think they cost me about 40 or so when I first bought them somewhere between 30 and 40 and this one sold for 94.99 with free shipping. Oh, and I mentioned as well that this is one of those items that was cross-posted on Vendu. Now, it did sell on eBay, um, which is where it was originally listed. But I'm glad that I got to cross-post it to, like, Macari and whatnot. It had quite a few likes over there. And for whatever reason, it sat for a while. And once I cross-posted it, it sold right away. So, <laughs> who knows? Hopefully, the second one will sell soon as well. And I'm glad that it at least has eyes on it on more than one platform. Okay, next over here, we have um, a little lot of two pairs of hot cotton linen, like, wide leg pants and um, here's the label if you've never seen it before i picked these up at a thrift store for 10 cents a piece so i have a total of 20 cents into this little lot here and they sold for 30 dollars plus the shipping on ebay Okay, next we have a couple of toys. Actually, the same person bought both of these. You'll see why in a second. So first of all, I have this little guy. If you haven't caught my video where I, first of all, went to the best yard sale I've ever been to in my entire life, um, I'll put a link here and I'll put a link down below in the description. Um, basically, I think I called it like the best yard sale ever. And I think the thumbnail said something about everything was rare, which it basically was, which is insane. Um, but I sold loads of toys and plush from there. So I decided to go back and buy out their uh, yard sale leftovers. Basically, I did a whole video on it. I'll link that as well and this is one of the things that came in that lot i spent three hundred dollars for like literally three to four car loads it was insane so this guy sold here randall from monsters university just a little bobblehead as you can see for 14.99 okay and then along with him uh this one sold also so another randall this one is a plush and he is a disney store plush he is considered a fairly rare plush and because of that he sold for 49.99 despite having a little pop on his seam right there so i'm going to package both of these items up together for this buyer and refund them anything i can save them on shipping 
I already talked to them about that. Um, but hopefully they love their Randalls. All right, while I'm here, I might as well grab the other plush that's sold. So this is my Macari sale. This is a Vendu cross post. Um, so it was listed on eBay and on Macari. It was only listed on Macari for like a day before it sold for full asking price. Um, this is from Steven Universe, I guess. Um, her name is Akma Marine. I had to do quite the research to find that out. Um, but she's a Funko plushie and she sold for $60 on Macari plus the shipping, of course, as well. Um, so yeah, not a bad sale at all. And this was another one that came in that lot that I just described to you where I bought out all the yard sale leftovers. So I have already um, sold gross more than $300. So we're really working our way now um, to being pure profit. And I have literally hundreds upon hundreds of things left to list still. All right. And there is another plush in his, here we go. Another eBay plush. So this little guy here, he is an older, more rare um, Rockley plush, like an anime plush, I guess. Um, and he sold for $24.99 plus shipping on eBay. All right, I think that's it for plush right now. If I'm wrong and I've forgotten anything, I'll just have to head back over. <laughs> Alright, the next item is in here with all my sort of like accessories, if you like, and it is this brand new um, sort of box, I suppose you could say, of vintage earmuffs. I picked these up purely because they were brand new in the box and they were vintage and they sold for $24.99 plus the shipping. Okay, next we have a couple of bottles of Bath and Body Works lotion. I think there's a coconut one and a passion fruit one. And um, these were given to me. Uh, basically, I got given a huge lot of Bath and Body Works stuff and I picked out what I wanted to keep and what I didn't want to keep. They said I could sell. Um, so I did. So these sold for $11 plus the shipping. And obviously they were free to me. So that's a nice little profit there. Okay, we do have another plush, but he is up here. Um, this one I bought at that yard sale that I was telling you about for the first time around. So I think I paid around $3 for him which in retrospect was a little bit much I just thought he was a more unusual care bear um, and he sold for $15 plus shipping on eBay all right we have one computer game that I paid a dollar for um, it is this one right here Spyro Enter the Dragonfly and um, this sold for $9.99 with free shipping definitely not a lot of profit there but a few dollars and nice and easy to like you know list ship and store and all that kind of stuff so I'll grab them here and there when I find them all right I have a bag that is way <laughs> back in there that I need to grab um but this is a cool one so stay with me for a second all right I grabbed this bag at a rummage sale so I paid a dollar or less for it it is true vintage um, and I just thought it was really cool with the crochet flowers and stuff it sat a while I was shooting pretty high with it like sort of 40 to 50 dollars um, but I took a best offer of 20 dollars because it's been listed for a while and hopefully they absolutely love it so this one needs to be packaged in an actual box so that is what I'll do and then while I'm here, I actually see something that's sold on Poshmark. This is another one that is absolutely down to Vendu. Um, just cross-posting it on multiple platforms and getting as many eyes as possible on an unusual item. So this is a vintage hard shell, like clam case style um, Tweety Bird or Looney Tunes, whatever, um, crossbody purse. Uh, very, very 90s. I paid less than a dollar at a church rummage sale for this because it was a filler bag kind of situation. Um, and this one sold for 25 plus shipping on Poshmark. All right, we have one pair of boots that sold on eBay. Um, I had them listed fairly high towards $40 because they are Lucky Brand. I paid, I think, $3. Yeah, you can see right there, $3. I'm going to take that off with some alcohol before I send them out, I think. $3 for these boots, but they did have some scuffs and whatnot at the back, as you can see. So I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. I'm going to throw a couple of alcohol pads in there as well to remind me when I get up and package them to get those marks off of the soles. Okay, our next pair of shoes on eBay is this pair of clothes. Clark's Mules. I paid, I think, either two or three dollars for these. These were at thrift store buy and they sold for 20 plus shipping on eBay as well. Oh, and while I'm here and I see them, I'm going to grab these two. These sold on Poshmark. They are a pair of Johnston and Murphy um, women's shoes. I thought they were really cool. They've got this kind of like scalloped detail to them, faux snakeskin leather um, pointed toe flats. Evidently, though, nobody thought that they were as cool as I did because they only sold for 20 dollars plus shipping. I think I had them listed closer to 40. Um, but that's fine. Um, at this point, I have been sending out so many offers, like rock bottom offers, as far as I'm concerned at this moment in time. And because of that, I've made as much this weekend in the last couple of days as I usually do in a week. Um, and I'm just trying to get some inventory out, basically. I want to get some of this stuff out ready for when the season starts to start buying again. And I want to do things a bit differently this year in terms of how much I'm doing clothing and shoes. So I am all about getting these items to new homes. All right, I have one bag up here that's sold 
called. Um, it is this one right here. I grabbed this from that very same yard sale I was telling you where I got all of the plush. And I paid, I think, two or three dollars perhaps for this. The brand is Killstar. If you can see it there, this is like a faux sort of fur um, backpack. And this one sold on Poshmark for $60 plus the shipping. And then I also have some vintage kids clothing or one piece, I should say. Oh, it's this one right here. Um, so this is a no-name brand. I just thought it was really cute. It is true vintage, corduroys. They're like bib overalls and they have a really cute like love heart up here. These sold purely based on style. I paid about 25 cents for them and they sold for 18 plus shipping on Poshmark. Oh, you know what? I have one more purse on here for Poshmark that I forgot about. Okay, it is this one right here. Um, it is a Brighton bag. If you're not familiar with Brighton, it's a pretty good brand. I think I paid $5 for this and it sold for 35 plus shipping. All right, we have one hat that sold on Poshmark. It's this vintage Atlanta Olympic Games 1996 hat. Um, it did have some wear to the leather strap back. I was hoping to get closer to 20 for this, but it sold for 15 on a best offer and I only paid sort of 50 cents for it. So I was happy with that. Once again, this is an example of an item that I cross posted using the Vendu software. And lo and behold, as soon as I got more eyes on the item, it sold. Definitely glad that I took the time to do that and get it more exposure on some different platforms. All right, next Poshmark sale is a pair of Clarks. Um, they're sort of like wedges with this kind of ankle strap. They were brand new with the tag still inside. Um, paid a dollar at a yard sale, total no brainer. And these sold for 35 plus shipping on Poshmark. Hmm, I think I'm gonna need another laundry basket in a second. All right, one more pair of shoes moving out the door going on Poshmark. They are SAS, which is a pretty good, pretty expensive brand. They're like a comfort shoe brand. They don't do it as well for me as they used to, but these are a size 12 leather loafer, women's size 12, and they sold for 20 on Poshmark plus the shipping. All right, I have commandeered a second laundry basket and the rest is basically clothing. So I'm gonna grab them real quick, let you know what they are and what they sold for. Okay, first one is an Eloquy top and um, they sold on Poshmark for $16. Next is a Liz Claiborne um, Christmas top. So go figure, we're in January, but Christmas is still selling. And this one sold on eBay for $17.99. Okay, next is an embroidered tunic top by Miracle Suit. This one sold for $20 on Poshmark. Next is a shaping tank top by the brand um, Liss or Lissy. It's L-Y-S-S-E, basically. They do a lot of shapewear. Their leggings can do quite well. This tank top sold for $16 on Poshmark. Next is a pair of Lane Bryant skinny jeans um, with zippered ankles. Those sold on Poshmark for $18. Next is a vintage New York Central Park graphic t-shirt. This sold on Poshmark for $20. Next is a men's polo Ralph Lauren uh, polo shirt. And it was very bold with like color blocking and a crest on the chest. I uh, paid a dollar at a yard sale. This one sold for $20 on Poshmark. Next is a Women's Banana Republic Color Block Merino Wool Sweater. Sold on Poshmark for $16. Oh, okay. So that is everything pulled, like I said. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my shipping now. And then hopefully I can actually chill out for a little bit this Sunday evening before the week begins again. I hope you guys are having a fruitful and relaxing beginning to the new year. <laughs> And let me know down below in the comments if you have any specific goals for your reselling business in this upcoming year. I'd be really interested to hear them because like I said, I'm planning on shifting a lot of things around for myself and uh, I'll probably talk about it in a different video anyway, but basically toning down on the clothing apart from some cool vintage stuff and really up in the hard goods sections in my store. If you enjoyed this video, please do think about giving it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like thrifty content, then please do think about hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification. So you can come back and hang out again. If you're interested in Vendu, just a quick reminder that that link is down below so you can check out either the review video or the website itself. And of course, there is that 25% off your first month if you're interested in giving it a go. I personally will be continuing with Vendu into 2021 because it has taken away all of my excuses for not cross-posting my items on different platforms. And my sales are growing because of it, so I can't complain. If you're looking for a friendly Facebook group to meet other people and ask your questions in the reselling community, don't forget to check out the link down below to Thrift Nice. We would love to have you. And if you're looking for reseller themed merchandise, then check out my Teespring store. We have t-shirts, face masks, funny packs, tote bags, everything that you can think of, all based around thrifting. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.